everybody, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. Once again, I can't, you know, extend my appreciation enough for you guys coming back and watching these reviews over and over. Uh, we try to provide the most unbiased review that you guys can have out there uh, on equipment. I tell you the truth about it, and, you know, I've got a lot of positive feedback about that. And, uh, you know, this equipment's not cheap, so it's important that you guys get the views of stuff before you buy it. And that's what our site's all about. Bunch of great news and exciting stuff that's going to be happening on the website. Um, not only that, there's some some real neat stuff coming up this year. I can't talk about yet, but we'll we'll be covering it. And it's uh, it's some involvement with us with uh, within our great company. And you guys will be just you need to check back to our website. Sign up for our newsletter. I'm getting ready to launch one here in a couple of minutes. As a matter of fact, as soon as I get done with this review, we're gonna have contests this year where you could sign up for winning free copies of certain video games and good stuff, uh, products, and just a great all around year. So, you know, let's get this started because today, I've actually done some reviews today, but today the review I'm going to be covering right now is the, uh, the new Nikon Pro Staff 7 binoculars. Um, these were sent to me. You guys know I've used Nikon binoculars for many years. Um, these are the old Monarchs, the, uh, the 12 by 56 xs Now, <clears throat> I want you to take a look at that. That's a big pair of binoculars. You know, and I wear a harness. I have a, a good friend of mine. His name's Will Goldsmith. He owns the Bino Pack Harness System. And uh, it is just a phenomenal. You guys go on my site right now. Should be up there at the top. If not, do a search on there. Look for the Bino Pack uh, Harness System. And I'm wearing these binoculars. And, uh, you know, it's a, it encompasses your whole shoulder. It's just not two little straps that strain on your neck. I mean, the thing is just wide. And it doesn't heat up your back. It's just great. Keeps the binoculars close to your body out of the way, yet you still have hand motion where you can lift them up. All right, these are the 12, the, the Monarchs that I did. Gosh, I think it was 2006. It's already almost 2012 here tomorrow. <laughs> so six years ago. Still using them. I love them. I mean, a great binocular. Great. That 56X, man, I can go out there when it's just barely light enough for you to see your hand right here. And I can glass a whole field and see if there's animals out there. So... But those aren't the ones we're covering today. The ones we're covering <clears throat> are the uh, Pro Staff 7s uh, sent to me by Nikon. And they are uh, a lot smaller. You know, 10 power, 42 uh, millimeter objective. So, you know, not as much light's going to come in. However, definitely a lot lighter. All right. I could show you here the difference between the binocular set. Let me put this up right here. I'll show you the difference. All right, here's the 12 power. Look at the size. And then there's, there's the 10 power. Now I have these little white zip ties on there because I, when I put it in my harness, that's how I hold them in there. But if you look at that, you know, two inches of difference. Uh, Weight-wise, yeah, quite a bit of difference. However, you know, you get more objective out of this. You can see a lot better in lower light. Uh, great binocular. These are what I use during... Um, now, during elk season this year, I also used these as well. And uh, tell you the truth, they're both just crystal clear. Nikon makes one of the clearest optics that I've ever seen out there. Uh, fully adjustable eyepieces. You can move them out, depending, you know, if you're wearing glasses or whatever the case. Um, gives you a little shadow in there so that if it's really bright, you know, you can cup your eyes against her well, still get that eye relief. Set it up to where it's customized just for you. You can adjust the individual magnification. So if you're not wearing your glasses, which I usually don't when I'm hunting, however, I'm, I'm getting ready to turn 40, and I find that I always have to wear my darn glasses. So uh, this year it's going to be a big difference. I'll be wearing my glasses uh, when I'm hunting. And, uh, you know, the, the Nikon binoculars are all set up to where you can personalize it for you. Uh, how many times have you been out there and you borrow your buddy's binoculars and they're all out of whack and then you try to adjust and they get mad at you? Well, you get your own pair. That's the key. Go buy a set of Nikons. And uh, anyway, you put them up to you, you adjust it, set them up for yourself so that they're always ready. You put them straight up, you really, you know, it focuses itself here for the distance. And uh, crystal clear, you can th see things really a long way away. And uh, you would not be disappointed with these binoculars. The Pro Staff 7, uh, definitely a great line of binoculars. I love my Monarchs. 
Um, I can't keep them both, but I, you know, it looks crazy. I got one set in my pack, one set, in, you know, around my neck. If I'm going to go hunt antelope, I'm probably going with my bigger ones and taking a spot and scope with me because antelope are way out there in the open and you need to be able to see every little nook and crevice that you can sneak around when you're bow hunting an antelope and uh, get in there. And uh, I can't say nothing more about them. I mean, they just, they're just a great, they got a rubber coating on them, um, you know, fog proof, waterproof, uh, definitely something great. That's something on these that um, one of the, uh, the monarchs, I had these hunting, I can't even remember what year it was, and I shot a bull, but it was snowing so hard, I had snow all in the back of the, the, the eyepieces here, and when I looked at it, I was like, oh, great, you know, because if you try to look through a pair of binoculars that's got water all over it, you can't see nothing. All I did was shake them out, rub them with my shirt, which was wet, and I could still see crystal clear because they have like a waterproofing on them that, you know, it doesn't really interfere with it. Uh, so that's something great, and you're not going to find that in your cheaper optics. Uh, you go to, you know, a no-name store or whatever the case is, and you buy some cheaper brand for 30 bucks. well, it's not going to have that coating on there, and then you're going to end up missing the animal or not even seeing anything because you can't get them adjusted for yourself. And uh, that's a great thing. These Pro Staff 7s, nice and light if you're a tree stand hunter or western hunter, or you're packing in a long ways. Definitely a nice light set of binoculars close to your body. You can put them in a hip pouch, wherever you want to put them. They're light. They're not going to weigh you down. That's something that's really great. Okay, you know, and like I said, it's got that rubber coating on there. You know, it's not slick in your hands. If you hit it against something, it's not going to make a tinging sound or a, or a ping. So let me see if I have something here I can hit. Um, take this little thing. That's just a dull thud. You know, that sounds like a woodpecker pecking on a tree. You know, if I did something, I don't have another, I don't have a cheap pair of binoculars laying around here. But even, even on the uh, the older brand they made from 06, still has that rubber coating on there. So number one, it's not gonna make noise. If it's wet, it's not slipping out of your hands. It's there. It's solid. It it sticks to your hands. Very adjustable. The way I do binoculars, even with a harness on, I put my elbows in. And you lock it. You make yourself like a, like a tripod. And then you just adjust them for yourself like that. You look at it, and uh, I can see you through here. Just kidding. But I'm telling you, definitely you got to go try these out. they got multi-layer coating on them. Um, great pair of binoculars. Nice and light. Uh, look at all the brands out there. Pick them up. Look at them in the store. That's why they have them sitting out there for you. Go to uh, Cabela's, Bass Pro Shops, Gander Mountain, whatever. Pick up all the optics and look through them. And I tell you what, I guarantee you Nikon is probably going to be one of the clearest optics that you've looked through. Most comfortable is too. And definitely great. They have a uh, <clears throat> the old over-the-neck strap, if you will, with the Nikon logo on it. If you want to utilize that, by all means, I highly recommend you guys go out and check out that Binopack harness because um, he's really new in the market lives here in Colorado, makes them in his basement. So they're 100% made in America. And a uh, good friend of mine, I think you guys would definitely uh, definitely like having a set of those. You know, it's not the two straps that hurt your neck. I mean, this thing is meant for your, your hardcore hunters, which all of us are, and that's what's important, so is, is your comfort when you're out there hunting. But anyway, the Nikon Pro Staff 7 definitely gets a thumbs up. One more thing on it is you can put it to where it's uh, on a, uh, a tripod. You can put it on anything so that you can sit there and have hands-free viewing so you're not shaking. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they try leaning it over a post or set it on a rock to, to see the animals or whatever. No, you can put this thing on a tripod and you'll be good to go. Shouldn't have any issues. So, tell you what, Nikon, another great product. Like I said, adding it to the family of all the Nikons I got, and I love them. I love, there's nothing like good optics, especially if you're hunting out here out west where you need to see a long ways, because I've watched thousands of rocks that look like deer that I would have made a stock on if I didn't have a good set of optics. And uh, you guys definitely need to make sure you go check these out. So for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas. Please come back to the site. We're going to have a bunch of new announcements this year. Sign up for our newsletter and also follow the ATA show updates that we're going to show you. So you guys take care. We're going to see you on our next review.